Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, From the Heart with Heather, and today is Nutrition Tuesday. In the spirit of Tuesday, I thought we would do Taco Tuesday. So, this is a new take on tacos, at least for me. A friend of mine had sent this recipe. It comes from Tasty, and if you look down below in the description, I'll link the um, recipe. It's a video, so you gotta, I had to play it a couple times just to get all the ingredients down, but it's so, so worth it, okay? Meatless tacos, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking, but it's not like that. This is a good recipe, and I have another little spin that I made, um, appetizers too with this, so here we go. This is uh, made from tofu, so what I did was... The recipe calls for 14 ounces of firm tofu. And I know from experience from working with tofu, it's watery. So what you want to do as soon as you get the, the package open, you want to drain the water. But then I'll also get some paper towels. It's even advisable if you wanted to, you could get a plate out, put your tofu, put a few paper towels, like stack three or four paper towels um, on the plate, put your tofu on top and put something heavy on it and just let it kind of... Um, get some of the water drained out of it. I was in a bit of a hurry, so I just kind of pressed on a little bit. I didn't put anything over top of it. Got enough water where if I squeezed it, nothing was gonna be, um, water wasn't really coming out. So that's what I did. You crumble up the tofu. So it's not like tofu, probably any tofu dish, unless you make meatless uh, meals, you know, like beef, ground beef tofu substitute. But, you know, most of the tofu I've worked with or eaten, has been in the chunks, and you either like it or you don't. One good thing about tofu, there's plenty of good things about it though. Tofu takes on whatever the flavors of what you're cooking it in. So if you have something full flavor and you cook tofu in it, it's gonna pick up that flavor. Also, it's high in protein, or at least decently high in protein, and um, low in calories, low in fat. So I'm going to give you an example. I wrote, I wrote this down. So if you have 3.5 ounces of tofu, right? It's 10 grams of protein. Pretty good. Uh, five grams of fat, but only one gram out of that five grams is saturated. So that's also really good. Um, you know, initially when thinking about tofu, I'm thinking <laughs> it's just like a junk meat substitute, but that's really not the case. So to tofu is made of soybeans. It's processed, but when you think about process, it's heated up and then added, um, they add magnesium salt or um, what else goes into it? I had it written down because I thought it was interesting. Oh, calcium, calcium and other minerals. So um, just minerals and soybeans. All right. So what I did was, back to the recipe, so um, I crumbled the tofu up and some of the things that are in here, but I, I encourage you to go ahead and just click on the link and get this video so you can make this for yourself because it's so worth it. But a few of the things that went into this was um, a fourth a cup of tomato sauce, cayenne, and it called for only a pinch of cayenne and I actually went with a half of a teaspoon of cayenne. I like my things a little bit spicy uh, what else? Chili powder, garlic, cumin, pepper, and soy sauce. So, I mean, it's all things that you probably already have in your kitchen. Another reason why I was really feeling this recipe is right now, I am just find a lot of the taco seasonings. I'd rather make my own, and this is a great one, even if you decide not that the tofu isn't for you, but I bet it might be, um, Making your own taco seasoning, you're going to reduce your sodium by so much. And I mean, you know how you have something that's so sodium laden and you just, it gets to your system, you know, your digestive system, you might, and especially when you get older, <laughs> you might be burping up that, that acidic flavor. Ugh. So I, it, it's another reason just to make some of your own seasonings and, and let the let the store people keep their their combos. It really doesn't take that much time to just put a couple teaspoons, tablespoons, and whip it all up. So that's what I did. And then um, just a baking sheet with olive oil. Cooked it at 400 for 25 minutes. Now, you could cook it longer. The longer you cook, I noticed on the edges... Um, the, uh, and actually I've got some in here right now because I'm seeing, I'm doing a little test. 
the edges get a little crunchy. So if you want your tofu, if you want this to be more crunchy, I would advise to make sure you get as much water out of the tofu as possible, but it's not necessary. And really the flavor of it is so good that you don't have to add a lot of cheese because the tofu has that spongy, even but it's broken in. So it's not like the chunks that you're used to eating, but it has that spongy kind of texture and it almost simulates like cheese. So you can put let you can reduce your cheese for your tacos, have a great flavor with your seasonings. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong. And then, okay. So like I said, I made this yesterday and I'm I'm heating everything up today and I've already eaten some of it today. So I know that it's good heated up on the second day. But what I did right now, I'm going to take this out, is I uh, went ahead and put in on a baking sheet, not a baking sheet, but my pizza stone, I like to cook things on here, just to see if I could get this tofu crunchy. So I'm going to test it out. Ooh, it's hot. Don't be judging my baking stone. It's dark season. I'm going to transfer a few pieces over here onto this plate. That way I can eat it. And I'm probably going to have to move the baking sheet because the heat is radiating off of it onto my face. And I'm not going to get a tan. <laughs> okay, so back to what I was saying. I've got one other little light thing. And you may laugh if you've never had this, but I'm telling you guys, you have to try this. So next with the tacos. So the tacos were done. And um, what I did was I have, and I've tried this before, so I knew it was gonna be good. But I had full, I bought full fat yogurt. And I like this Stony Field, I think it is. Stony Field Organic. And let me tell you something, when you buy the plain, the probiotics work. I'm not super positive, but I have read that the flavors, you will not get the full effect of the probiotic in a um, flavored yogurt. So, but you notice this is whole milk, okay? So what I did here was I strained it with cheesecloth. And what does that do? And let me, this is, this is how much, and this is, this is about half of a, 32 ounces, so it's about, I'd probably say I got really about 10 ounces in here, 10 ounces of yogurt, and then I strained it with cheesecloth overnight. You see how much liquid I have underneath there? Now, the liquid per se is not bad. The liquid is actually, you've heard of whey. The liquid that I strained out of here is whey, okay? But the reason why I strained the liquid out is because this consistency right here, I'm gonna make it pretty. See, it's gonna be a big dollop. I can't find my small dollop. This consistency is thick like yogurt, and that's what I wanted it to be. Well, it's, it's a half a dollop. <laughs> so see the consistency? You mix that in with the tacos, you cannot tell that that is yogurt. I promise, try it. All right. Now, again, I wanted to touch back on that, on the whey. The whey is not bad. Like if you're eating yogurt and you see the water on top, it's okay not to drain that. Oh, I keep on seeing here. It's okay not to drain it because it does have um, some nutrients in it. It has protein, potassium, and calcium. Okay. But it wasn't really something that I didn't want my, uh, my sour cream to be watery. My sour cream. All right, so the next thing I did with this, which was just totally an idea that I had when I was at the store, and I want to share it with you. When I was in the store, oh, I already had it out, had it out. Well, making a mess, making a mess. I bought these. I picked this up in the vegetable in the um, meatless section. And these are wonton wraps, and I thought, ooh, ooh. So I took the wonton wraps that look just like this. And I filled them up with the taco seasoning and a little bit of cheese. Now, guys, it doesn't make much because it's a little pocket. This is an appetizer, and it is so, 
so good. I will make these again and I will serve these as appetizers and they're cute. But <laughs> um, I did play around and let me tell you. So I, the instructions for the wrappers say that you, you fold them this way and seal them with water or with water or um, egg, egg white. And I was like, I'm not getting egg whites out, just to seal this up. So I did water and it's kind of hard, difficult to work with. And then you're supposed to turn it this way and make a little wrap. Well, when I do that with these, it looks like this and it doesn't look very pretty. So what I started doing was kind of playing around and making it into the present. So, you know, folding it this way and then closing it up like a little square present, okay? All right, so that is Nutrition Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. Let me know if you try it. It's not as scary as it sounds, I promise, and it's a lot tastier than you can imagine. And, you know, not a lot of calories here. Definitely getting some protein in and feeling good about it. All right. Okay, well, that wraps it up for today. Like it. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time.